Hi, my name is Charles Matthews, and I'm the architect here with Grizzly Bear Architecture and Design. Today we are looking at answering the question, how to use building information modeling in your building project. All right, so in this video, we're looking at how to use BIM in your building design project. So uh, the question here is uh, the process of how you would use building information modeling. That's what BIM is, building information modeling in your design project. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, what is BIM? BIM is an acronym, three letters, standing for Building Information Modeling. Building, um, obviously we know what that is. Uh, it's a creation of a building. And, but the creation of the building happens in 3D in the computer with all the major components and systems put in place. Uh, information, information involves the fact that the BIM model is a database. It's a database with all the sizes, materials, and attributes. Everything is uh, is there. The information, if you use a steel beam as an example, the modulus of the elasticity, the strength of the materials, the sizes, all of that is in the database. And modeling. Modeling has to do with the creation of a complete uh, entity, or in this case model, that all the other drawings and charts are derived from. So together we, uh, we call that BIM, Building Information Modeling. Now, uh, one of the things that BIM really helps with is conceptual design. It, conceptual design from a viewpoint of it's really fast and it's easy to be able to show a potential client what the architectural end product will look like and that by way of doing the drawings uh, in the flat 2D that would be needed. Okay, and the, the software that I like to use has the ability to go back and forth between a variety of views from plans to sections to elevations to 3D. Uh, the design can be based on parameters, meaning if you change one aspect of the building, say uh, a hallway needs to go from being uh, three feet wide to being six feet wide, the other elements would resize automatically. And it's 3D, so it's not just fast, but it's easy to communicate. Next, the building shape. You're able to, in a really dynamic way, uh, respond to climatic forces such as the location of the sunlight, prevailing winds, and you're able to show all these things to your client really easily. Uh, you're able to show how the angle of the sun affects the interior spaces, heating and cooling needs. BIM also allows you to uh, show how the building would perform under a variety of different heating and cooling conditions. Uh, and one aspect of things that I, that I really like and also is really helpful from a, uh, a potential liability viewpoint is uh, if you change something in one drawing, meaning a floor plan, you move a door. If you change that in one drawing, the change is reflected in all the other drawings because it's one model that's being used parametric changes, meaning uh, you can design certain aspects of the building to perform differently based on whatever need that one element is. And so instead of redrawing a door to be four feet, you just specify the change in the database for the, the door to be four feet instead of three feet. And so that I'll, what that does is it allows it to stretch. Uh, since all of this is taking place in a database, you can then output the information into a standard chart. Now charts are used uh, all over the place in architectural drawings, and so if those charts are being populated by the actual 
uh, elements that are in there, if you delete an element, it's automatically going to be deleted on the chart. So the changes are automatically tracked. And uh, another aspect, I haven't had to use that often, but it is possible to do what are called material takeoffs. Uh, and they're almost instantaneous, meaning uh, you it, it amounts to clicking a button and you can get an inventory of the different parts that you need. It's not that simple, though, from a viewpoint of you have to be entering in the right things as you go through the process of designing the building. So it's the whole idea of garbage in, garbage out. If you put in good information at the beginning, you're going to get good information in at the ending. So how do you use BIM? Uh, uh, well, you need a platform for providing the specifics of the BIM, and that platform is the software. That software uh, that I have used is uh, a software from Autodesk called Revit. Uh, there are other software uh, solutions out there, but I have never used those before. So uh, just telling you from my use of Autodesk Revit platform providing specifics okay so that's the platform you use you'd need to have the geographical information of the place you're living so that you can uh, i'm sorry <laughs> it's not just living but the location of the building that will be designed you need to know where it's going to be obviously you would have that information uh, anyhow in developing the drawings but this is a way of being able to make your building model more reactive and responsive to the location you determine whatever other information is needed and enter it as you're going through and designing the building. When you're finished, you can run part of the software called collision detection so that you can see, uh, you know, do you have a beam that is intersecting a glass window? And if so, then you can decide how you want to change that. Uh, so that's collision detection. And so after the, the model has been created based on all these various things, uh, you would then use the drafting tools of the software in order to create other projects. So that is the uh, big picture overview of the process of using building information modeling in your building design project. Hi, this is Charles Matthews. Just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. If you have any thoughts or comments, feel free to leave those below. Visit our website at grizzlybeararchitecture.com. This video is one in a series of videos that address various issues surrounding architecture and our practice of architecture and grizzly bear architecture. And uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, I'd really appreciate those. Thanks.